In this lesson, I'm going to discuss a special poor habit, vocalization and subvocalization. The most ineffective readers have this bad habit and is probably the main cause for slow reading. What does vocalization and subvocalization mean? Vocalization means reading aloud. Subvocalization means reading aloud silently in your mind. Reading is a visual process. You see the words on the page and your brain recognizes these words and understands them. By vocalizing and subvocalizing, you are involving an auditory aspect which is totally irrelevant. To increase your reading speed, you need to eliminate the auditory aspect from reading. How do you know if you are vocalizing and or subvocalizing? If your reading speed is around 150 to 250 words per minute, then you are reading aloud to yourself. It is because human beings talk at the speed of around 150 words per minute. In this case, your reading speed is approximately the same as your talking speed. You are subvocalizing and or vocalizing if you have any of these following habits. Lipping, tongue warbling, jawing, or Adam's appling. You know, you may not have all the above bad habits, but let's discuss them in great detail. Lipping. Most slow readers lip read while reading. While reading, if your lips are moving, you are doing it wrong. There is no need for lip movement while reading. You may be talking or whispering while reading. Both are not necessary and you need to stop them immediately. Do you lip sync? To find out, place a finger lightly on the lips as you read or ask a friend to observe while you read for a few minutes. You may be surprised to find out how much your lips are involved with silent reading. How to overcome lipping? Lipping habits can be overcome quickly and with ease if you are aware of their presence and apply the following techniques until you succeed. First, cup both hands behind the ears as you read. If you hear any sounds or whispers at all, concentrate on maintaining silence and listen until you break this habit. Second, read with a pencil held lightly between the lips. Any movement of the lips will be illustrated and exaggerated by the pencil's actions. Practice until the pencil remains still. And lastly, in extreme cases, the mouth can be sealed temporarily with plastic tape. But I know, this is an extreme and rare case. But it works. Now, what are the good news? Lipping takes very less time to overcome once you start implementing the above solution. The second bad habit. Tongue warbling. What it is? Tongue warbling appears when your tongue is busily engaged with forming each and every sound as you read. While reading a page, are you aware of even the slightest movement of your tongue? If so, no matter however slight, you must overcome it. How to do it? First, read with a pencil gripped midway back in the mouth with the tongue held underneath. Second, read with chewing gum held between the top of the tongue and the roof of the mouth. And lastly, hold fingers beneath the jaws to detect tongue movement. Third, jawing. The jower does exactly what the term suggests. His jaws tend to keep time with his reading. It may appear that he is chewing. If you need to check for and or overcome this habit, try the following. First, read with your chin resting solidly on a clenched fist. The elbow is planted firmly on a desk or table. Second, read while chewing gum. However, make sure to avoid chewing in rhythm with your reading. And lastly, practice reading with a pencil clenched firmly between the front teeth. 
an hour bad habit, Adam's Appling. Here is what happens when an ineffective reader reads. As this person starts reading silently, he unconsciously puts the voice box and the vocal cords through all or most of the intricate movements and changes necessary for normal speech. Inaudibly, he raises and lowers his pitch as she or he experiences the action of the words being read. If a very sensitive microphone were attached to the throat, she or he might be surprised to learn how much inarticulated speaking is going on beneath the normal hearing level. Check yourself now. Place your fingers slightly on both the sides and front of the Adam's Apple voice box. Is there any vibration or movement except the necessary for breathing and swallowing? If yes, then you are Adam Appling. How to overcome the solution? Do the following. First, unconsciously and deliberately relax the entire throat and neck area. Stop occasionally to roll and turn the head. Breathe deeply and comfortably. Second, continue reading with fingers on the voice box. Any vibration or movement will alert you to relax further. Now, what if you don't have any of these four habits? As far as subvocalization is concerned, every reader subvocalizes. Most of the time, your subvocalization can be linked to one of the four habits we've talked about previously. If you feel you don't have those habits, you can still reduce subvocalization. It can't be eliminated completely. You can only reduce it to a certain degree. Here are some things you can do to reduce self-vocalization. First, read the book and sing a song in your mind simultaneously. Second, read a book with a loud music in the background. Next, chew gum while reading. And lastly, make funny sounds like tralala while reading. Now, those suggestions force your mind to focus on other things while reducing your subvocalization. And with just a few minutes, you will see big improvements. Again, few things to keep in mind. You shouldn't do the above suggestions while you are reading at normal times. You only need to do those drills in the 30 minutes you have decided to work on to reduce the bad habits. Most of the readers vocalize and subvocalize. I'm sure you are not an exception. I'm not either. If you do what it is recommended during this lesson, your vocalization and subvocalization will reduce dramatically. And last point, you cannot eliminate subvocalization completely. You can only reduce it. You will always subvocalize at some level. So please don't put this objective on your mind to eliminate subvocalization completely. It will never work. Here are two action steps. First, please become aware of which bad habits you have. And if you want to, you can list in the discussions of this course. And second, once you become aware of those bad poor habits, start working on them from the first day, from today. You don't need to do the exercises for hours. Even 10 minutes per day will take you miles and miles ahead.